Hey there YouTube, it's Math Buller. Welcome to my TTM Monday Autograph Recap video. Last week, the week of June 9th, 2024, I received 32 autographs from 10 people. I completed three player runs, um, including a 1957 rookie card. Of... Anyway, you, you'll see, you'll see. I'm going to show all 10 orders in the order with which, all 10 returns in the order with which I received them. I'll let you know how many items I sent, how long it took, if I sent a donation, but I will not give out addresses. Those can easily be found on SCN or SCF. I've been sending out 10 requests or more per week for a very long time. So, first up, we have Bob Speak, who signed two of two in 13 days in what appears to be a black ink pen. Those 56s look so stinking good. And he signed my autograph card. Next up, um, took a little longer than I thought, three of three. 98 days from former Steelers quarterback Mark Malone. Very cool. Uh, this next one was my longest return. Uh, he did really well with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Very solid defenseman. Sergey Gonchar signed 3 of 3 in 259 days. He did personalize this one, which is fine. Next up is a first-timer for me. 3 of 3, 55 days, we got Dave Leonard. I believe he's on another dual card, so I need to keep that in mind the next time I send out to him. So he did not sign the front of the 71 World Series champ cards, because they did win it in 70. But he did sign the back. Sneaky, but there we go. And we got him on the 69. Next up is a first-timer. I tried to this guy one time, and it got RTS'd. Three of three in only 13 days. We got Rich Cody. Very cool on the 73, the 74, and the 75. A nice little run. This next person I might have sent to one time. I've been TTMing for about 10 years now. Um, but I can't remember. 4-4, four, four, 67 days. We've got Steve Grogan. So that was nice to get him. He was originally sent out along with Mark Malone back in the Battle of the Decades, but they came back a little bit later. So no points for Team 80s. This next one was cool because I had a couple of not so typical cards to be sent to Larry Cole. Larry Cole, 4 of 4 in 8 days. So I got him on the uh, 74 and the 75. Two of the Fleer team action cards. This one was from 1982 and this one was from 1983, though they're the same picture. Okay, next one's the biggie. This is so satisfying. This player is a former World Series MVP, and I'm totally cool that he got MVP because the Pirates beat them. Um, he signed four of two in only 14 days with a $10 donation, $5 per. He signed the index card. He included a little pamphlet that he wrote a note on and signed his first name. We got Bobby Richardson. I completed my playing day's run of Bobby Richardson and on the rookie card that I picked up at the mainline autograph show he added the 1960 World Series MVP I did not request any specific inscriptions I just wanted to let him do what he felt appropriate and oh my gosh th that's awesome but there was one other card I needed from him and that was the 63 he loaded up the inscriptions on that one eight-time all-star and five-time gold glove from 61 to 65 Good stuff, Bobby Richardson. So satisfying to complete that run, especially with that rookie card. Not a cheap card. He loaded up the index card. He includes pamphlet, Mickey Mantle, his final inning. Wrote a nice note. Glad to sign, Stephen. And thanks for the 10. Hope you like my teammate Mantle's his final inning. Terry. Or Bobby. <laughs> So excited. I goofed up the name. I got two more returns to show you, and ironically, these are also completed playing days run. I completed my run of Glenn Doty to Stephen Go Colts. 
on the 74, the 78s. Oops, technical difficulties here. There we go. On the 79 and 80. Those were the four I needed from him because I had sent to him one other time and got those cards signed. And then I needed one more card signed by Gary Cuozo. Two of two in 12 days. I needed this. I think that's the 68. But anyway, he signed it. Ephesians 2, 8, and 9. And there we go. John 3, 16. He included what I believe to be a testimonial card. I didn't even re-up. I saw the word truth, and he's got a cross for his second T there. So I'm sure that's what that's about. But I'm not counting this because it wasn't signed as far as the toe of autographs. So I did have 32 autographs from 10 people. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite. I upload three videos a week. A TTM video on Monday. Obviously, this one was my favorite. A TTM video on Monday and an autograph and or trading card video on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I really would appreciate it. If you would like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Take care, everybody.